good morning guys so as you saw it's 6 18 a.m. I've been up since 5 o'clock I have my dishes done my vacuum run my cats fed and I just need my cup of coffee I decided on coffee this morning since it's not a fasting morning I think maybe I'll do the skinny tea on my fasting days and then have my coffee on my non-fasting days not sure yet whatever I decide I will insert it and you will see it but I just felt like some hot coffee this morning so now I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna do now um, I do have an appointment later therapy appointment I have another appointment um, I would like to work on some kind of a budget on money that I need to pay out, money I want to put into savings, stuff like that. Um, so I know what I have and kind of stop spending erratically as I have been. Uh, addiction is interchangeable for me. When I'm not using food, I can use other things. So, I'm going to try to make a budget because this month I'll be budgeting in for um, my cat's neuter. So, I have to budget that into my expenses um, and just write down what I have going out as opposed to what I have coming in and seeing what's left over and what I can, how much I want to put away because I am saving for... A trip next spring um, that I'm that's one of my goals of working hard to get some of this weight off because I'm going to be going God willing to Myrtle Beach with my cousin and she wants to fly there I've never flown before so I definitely want to be here comes the bad cat yeah I definitely want to be down a good bit before I go to Myrtle Beach for obvious reasons. So, Cat's walking over here again and he knows he's not supposed to be. It's kind of like a kid. When the parent's on the phone, the kids, act, kids act up. When I have the camera on, he acts up because he knows I'm not going to yell at him on camera. Or maybe I'll just fool him and I will yell at him while the camera's on. No, I don't yell at them. I very seldom yell at them, <laughs> which is why they get away with everything. So it's a little too early for breakfast, so I did wake up very hungry this morning again. I don't know why, but some mornings I've noticed are like that. Um, so this morning instead of eating so early like I did last on Tuesday it was actually I decided to just drink the coffee and wait for a while there is something that I want to make and show you guys some a new recipe I found a hungry girl recipe for breakfast and I'll show you that when I have it um I don't know what else do I need to talk about kind of like a little coffee talk. Sometimes it's hard to sit here and look at my fat arms in the camera and not be a little embarrassed or self-conscious of them. I think it's all about body positivity. And I know that can be a touchy subject for a lot of people. My feelings on it are I think you should feel comfortable at any size, whatever size you are. You shouldn't be ashamed of yourself. And you should be okay with showing your fat arms or your fat legs or whatever other part of your body that you feel comfortable showing. I don't think that that is a reason to stay overweight and stay unhealthy, but I don't think that there's a reason to feel ashamed of the way you look at the moment because in order to make changes and to accept yourself you have to love yourself and 
I have to love myself exactly as I am at this moment. And I know that I won't always be this way. Hopefully, very soon I'll be smaller than this. But for now, this is my body and I have to love myself where I'm at. So, that's that. So, what I'm going to do now, like I said, I'm going to go drink my coffee. I have my 32 ounces of water already in my room because I put that in there while I was vacuuming and doing dishes. I did not exercise this morning. I will probably do some kind of exercise this afternoon and I don't know if I'll include that or not. I'm not going to include exercising in every video, but in some videos if I do something new or just every once in a while maybe I'll insert a clip of me exercising. Uh, work on a budget maybe, work on some journal stuff, maybe read a little bit and then get myself put together and ready for my appointments today and get ready to start the day. I will be back with you guys when I have my breakfast and show you the new little recipe that I found. It's nothing huge, it's not a huge recipe, but it's just something I wanted to share with you guys. And that's it. So I'll see you guys back in a little while, a couple seconds for you guys, but a little while for me. Alright guys, it's 11.04 a.m. and I'm getting ready to have my breakfast now. I drank my coffee, I got my video uploaded, I did some computer work. I'm going to have my breakfast because then I have a therapy appointment at 1 and then I have another appointment after that so I won't be getting back until a little bit later this afternoon. So my lunch will be way later. If I have any lunch, it'll probably be a snacky kind of a lunch. But let's just start with what I'm doing. I'm trying to shoo a cat on the other side of me. So this is going to be the Hungry Girl recipe. I just got this recipe in my email this morning. I subscribe to her daily emails. And this was a recipe that was in the email today for May the 2nd, 2019. And what it calls for is, these are for apple chips, I guess you call them. And it calls for either a gala or I'm thinking it said a Fuji apple. I'm not really sure what type of an apple this is because somebody gave me a couple red apples. Um, so I can't tell you exactly what kind of an apple it is. So we'll just say it's a gala apple. We'll pretend like it's a gala. <laughs> so what you do is you coat it with cinnamon and then you're going to put it in your air fryer over here. Hi guys. Um, let me change hands now. You put it in your air fryer at 390 degrees for 10 minutes and I put my handy dandy little liner in there and you want to put them in in a single um, layer and you want to make sure your apples are cut a quarter of an inch thick. I'm not sure if that's a quarter of an inch and I'm pretty sure it's more than a quarter of an inch so I may have to put them on for a little bit longer but we're going to go with it because First, I'm not good at cutting. Second, I don't have good knives. And third, I'm not good at judging inches, ounces, pounds, tablespoons, etc. <laughs> so, I'm going to put these in the air fryer and then I will be back. Alright, there's my apples pretty much in a single layer in my air fryer. I'm going to put them in the air fryer. Well, I guess I have to plug it in first. That would probably help. Okay. Plugged in. We're going to do 300 and, whoops, 390 degrees for 10 minutes and we'll check it after that. All right, while my apple is cooking, I'm going to move on to making my omelet. So I'm just going to give the pan a light spray of olive oil. Of 
three color pepper and onion strips. And these serving size is one cup, but I'm only having half. So there you go. Those are the calories, carbs, etc. for that. While that's going, we'll do the. Uh, let's see if I can get you. Somebody has suggested I do a whole egg and two egg whites. So I'm going to do that this morning and see how I like it. So there's the whole egg. There's one egg white. some pink Himalayan salt. Some black pepper. I need to get my new pepper out because this is getting down to the last little bit in it and it doesn't want to come out very well. And I love pepper. And of course, my favorite, everything but the bagel seasoning. I want to see if I can actually make this look yummy. I doubt it, but hey, we're going to try. So I have, this is a half a cup measure, so I'm going to use half of the half to do a quarter of a cup of cheese, shredded cheddar, on my omelet egg dealio kind of thing. I don't think I can flip it over. I didn't make it right to actually make it into a legitimate omelet, but... 
there we go. So that's what we have. All right, I think my omelet has cooked enough. Looks pretty good, I think. I think the um, one yellow or one whole egg and two whites is a really good combination, so that's what I'll be using. All right, there are my apple slices out of the air fryer. I'm gonna put them on the plate and then I will show you. Okay, so now I have my breakfast all made and plated up. So let me remind you, or let me tell you what's on this plate again. I have one whole egg and two egg whites. Somebody recommended that, so I tried it and I do like that. It makes the omelet look a lot better as well and it just came out looking better. I'm sure it'll be better nutrition-wise as well when I add everything up. I don't know the things off the top of my head, of course. Um, and with that, there is a half of a cup of the picked sweet three pepper onion blend and then a quarter of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And then over here, I have the air fryer apple chips that I made they did not some of them did come out crispier than others but the reason why they didn't come out as crispy I think as the recipe says is because I didn't slice them thin enough so next time when I make these I know I know but there's nothing for you you don't like apples or eggs no so Next time when I make these, I'm going to slice these up with my slicer so I can make sure I get them nice and thin so they'll get crispier. That one did get crispy. It's good. It kind of tastes like a little mini apple pie. So there's my breakfast along with... I wasn't completely done with my 32 ounces of water that I had this morning, so I just... There was ice in here. I just filled it with ice and then a little bit more water. And my 32 ounces of water. So that's what I'll be eating until later this afternoon. Like I said, I have an appointment at one and then I have another small appointment after that. So I probably won't be back until at least three. So I won't be eating until later again. So I will be back with you guys when I have my next food for the day. See you guys soon. All right, guys, it is hot outside. It's very humid. More than, it's pretty warm, but it's more humid than it is hot, actually. So, as I showed you, this is my lunch. It's 2.55 p.m. One of my appointments fell through, so I only had my therapy appointment today. It went really well. I don't feel extremely stressed like I did usually do. So this is my lunch. Since it is three o'clock, I'm gonna have half of, well, about three-fourths of the cucumber, a serving of hummus, and let me see what flavor that hummus was again. Oh, the spinach artichoke hummus, and then two of the Laughing Cow Creamy Swiss Garlic and Herb Wedges. And then I'm gonna try these. Also, I found in my fridge, shoved way back in the back, and it's frozen, so hopefully it will thaw so I can open it and enjoy it, is one of these Clear American um, flavored waters. This is the Key Lime, it's one of my favorite flavors. So, that I think there's one more in there that I found pushed clear back and back from back in my Walmart grocery days. So I'm gonna try these on camera with you guys. I told you I would have never tried these before. A lot of you said that you have tried them and you like them. So I'm very curious to try them. They smell like pickles.
very garlicky. I mean, not garlicky, vinegary. They're good. I mean, they just taste like a pickle, actually. So I think if I'm going to get something and eat them, I'll just eat a pickle. But these are good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. So, I don't think I'll buy them again because I can just eat a pickle. But it was good to try them so I know what they taste like in the future. So, there you go. I'm going to go eat this and I will see you guys back in a little while a couple seconds for you guys but in a little while I'm gonna be trying another hunger girl recipe a couple of you were excited to see me try it I'm going to put the video separately of how I make it it's the um, keto friendly chicken fried pizza 2.0 recipe um, most of that video you'll see in a separate video like a cook with me video but then I'll also include it here because that's what I'm going to have for dinner. So I'll see you guys back in a little while. Bye. I've had a few of you guys ask me about my ice maker and how it works because you always hear it. So this is my ice maker and the ice looks melted because it's been sitting in there for a few hours. Um, it does make the ice, but, and it keeps it cold. Like I said, it, this has been in here for a few hours, but it's not refrigerated. So after it gets full, you need to, um, empty this little basket that comes out. But you'll see here in a couple seconds how it works pop the ice out. I said you could. All right, here it goes. And then it'll pull up again with water and it'll start all over again until the basket is full. You just pour the water down there and there's a fill line and it took a little bit longer this time because I had the lid open and it, it didn't see as cold inside there so it did take a little bit longer but it averages about three to five minutes to make a batch of ice cubes. And that's what it looks like. And that's my ice maker. All right, guys, it is 7:55, and it's time, whoops, <laughs> to eat dinner. So I'll show you what I made. It took me a little bit longer tonight because I made a video of me making it. This is the Hungry Girl Pizza Fried Chicken recipe. 2.0 actually and I will have the calories carbs all that good stuff at the end I didn't show you I don't have any clips of me making it to insert in my daily video because I made a video of me making the whole thing and that will be up on my channel probably today sometime well tomorrow for me but today for you guys later today so I'm gonna take a bite and let you know what I think of it it looks and smells really good. Mmm. That is delicious. 
that will definitely work for when I have a pizza craving. Oh my gosh, guys, that is amazing. So that's my dinner for tonight, my last meal of the day. And then tomorrow we go back to fasting. I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.